Hello and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we're looking at the concept of volume expansivity. Now, note that another name for volume expansivity is cubic expansivity. So it's called volume or cubic expansivity. And cubic expansivity is abbreviated with the symbol gamma. All right. So gamma is used to abbreviate volume or cubic expansivity expansivity now by definition cubic expansivity is simply the change in volume per unit volume per degree rise in temperature that's it so we are saying that when um, metals or when solids are being heated they increase not just in length as we dealt with in linear expansivity or area as we dealt with in area expansivity but they also increase in their volume and that's what we'll deal with in volume expansivity. All right, so for this now, let's see the mathematical expression. The mathematical expression for volume expansivity is simply the change in volume per unit volume. So all over original, original volume times the change in temperature, so times change in temperature so i have this All right change in volume per unit volume um per degree rise in temperature so i have this in mathematical form we can have that volume expansivity is equal to change in volume all over initial volume into change in temperature and this is equal to, if I expand this, becomes V2 minus V1 all over V1 into change in temperature is T2 minus T1. So I have this. All right. So note that just like you have for linear expansivity and area expansivity, the SI unit of volume or cubic expansivity is per Kelvin, right? So note that the SI unit is simply per Kelvin for volume expansivity. All right, so this is final volume in meter cube, initial volume in meter cube. Uh, this will be V1. Okay, V1, initial volume in meter cube, then final temperature in Kelvin, initial temperature in Kelvin. All right, so let's take an example to better still explain this. Okay, so also note one last thing. Note that um, volume expansivity is equal to three times linear expansivity, all right? So I think this is something you should bear in mind, all right? We said in the last class that area expansivity is two times linear expansivity. Now I'm saying that volume expansivity or cubic expansivity is three times the linear expansivity. All right, so with these things in mind, let's take some sample problems and solve them together. All right, let's look at this question here. This question says, the increase in the volume of a 10 cm cube of mercury when the temperature rises by 100 degrees Celsius is 0 0.18 to centimeter what is the cubic expansivity of mercury all right let's get this done so solution as usual first task is to list out given parameters what am i given there they said the increase in, in volume of 10 cm cube of mercury so i'm given that the initial volume there v1 initial volume v1 is equal to 10 cm cube we said when the temperature rises by 100 degrees Celsius. Number two, when, when you're being told that the temperature rises by 100 degrees Celsius, what do you have there? Is that T1 or T2? Now look at this. Let's say I have T1 initial temperature as 2 degrees Celsius and my final temperature T2 as 5 degrees Celsius. For here, we can say that the temperature has risen by 3 degrees Celsius, right? 
from 2 to 5, it has risen by 3 degrees Celsius. How did you get 3? 3 is simply 5 minus 2. All right, that becomes T2 minus T1, which is what? The change in temperature. So when, the, when you're being told it has risen by an amount, what you have there is the change in temperature. So they said it rose by 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, so what I have there is actually change in temperature is equal to 100 degrees Celsius. Convert this to Kelvin, it becomes 273 plus this value, 100, and that's equal to 373 Kelvin. Convert to Kelvin. Number three, the next step then said, now if you read carefully, it says the increase in the volume of, so the increase in this volume of mercury when the temperature rises by this is 0 0.182 cm cube. So when you hear 0 0.182 cm cube, is that your initial volume or final volume? Now, first thing, we already have initial volume as this 10 cm cube. And since the volume is increasing, we expect that the final volume should actually be what there? More than this, higher than this, not lesser. So that 0 0.182 is actually lesser, which is not um, V2. What you have there is simply what there, the change in volume. Just like the change in temperature was this one here, what you have there is change in volume. So they're giving you the value of V2 minus V1, that's change in V, and they said change in V is equal to 0 0.182, uh, is it CM cube? Okay, CM cube. So I have this. All right, so let's get this done. We asked to find what there? What's the cubic expansivity? All right, number four, we are asked to find the um, cubic expansivity, which is gamma. Gamma is equal to unknown. So let's recall formula. Recall that gamma is recall that gamma is equal to change in volume all over V1 into change in temperature, right? Change in volume. So I'm going to use this formula here because that's, these are the parameters I'm given. I'm giving this, this, and then V1. So I'll use this formula instead of this one here. All right, so gamma is then equal to um, change in volume is 0 0.182 all over V1. V1 is 10 into change in temperature. Temperature is uh, this... 373 in Kelvin. I know sometimes you might want to ask, why didn't I convert the volume? Why didn't I change the volume? The idea is simple. This is in cm cube, in cm cube. They'll cancel out. And since they are canceling out, I don't really have to convert cm cube to meter cube. It's not necessary because they'll cancel out. Right? All right, so impute the values here. Yeah? This is equal to, from here, I'm having 0 0.182 all over. This gives me 3730. So the volume expansivity is equal to, uh, let me get my calculator. So my calculator, I'm having um, 0 0.182 divided by 3730, and that's about 0 0.1234. Four nine per Kelvin. So this is my answer. So this is how we solve this question. Let's take yet another example. All right, let me try one more example on this. The question here says, given that the linear expansivity of a box is 0 0.0000, that's four zeros, 1 to 9 per Kelvin, find number 1, the area expansivity beta, number 2, the volume expansivity gamma. All right, so let's get this done. The solution, um, of course, as usual, listen our parameters. Number 1, I have um, linear expansivity, which is alpha, given to us as 0. This 
I'm asked to find the value of beta, which is area or superficial expansivity. I'm also, also asked to find the value of gamma, which is volume or cubic expansivity. So how do I find that one there? Very simple. My first task is to recall formula. So recall that beta, which is area expansivity, as we dealt with in the last class, we said is twice the linear expansivity. So I said that beta, um, we said that beta is equal to two times the linear expansivity, which is uh, 0.1234, 1, 2, 9. If I expand this, this gives me about 0 0.0000258 um, per Kelvin. So that's the value of the area expansivity. Okay, also, max to find gamma, volume, or cubic expansivity, the value is simply thrice the linear expansivity. That's three times linear expansivity, and that's three into linear expansivity again, as given, is 0 0.0000129. So I have this. All right, so if I, if I multiply this, what do I have there? This will give me about 0 0.0003 per Kelvin. Yep, so I should have this. All right, so this is how you solve this. So this is the value for the, uh, these are the values for the um, area expansivity and volume expansivity. Now I have a tax for you. Your tax is this. Can you post, we, we've said that, we've said that, uh, the linear expansivity of okay, we've said that the relationship between linear expansivity and area expansivity is that area expansivity is equal to two times linear expansivity. Also, we've said that volume expansivity is equal to three times linear expansivity. Now, your task is this can you derive a mathematical formula, just one formula or one equation? that can relate linear area and volume expansivity. So can you look for a way to form a mathematical equation that relates linear area and volume expansivity? That's your task. If you can, leave the answer in the comment section and I'll give you a reply if you're correct. Also, if you're not correct too, well, um, I would also tell you you're not correct, okay? For now, try to get this done. Also, um, before I go, please, um, note that we have um, over 100 courses on mathematics, physics, and chemistry on my website. That's www.jonahimani.com forward slash courses. All right. Go there. You'd see a course on jam slash wire classes. All right. So simply register an account with the website, and then you can order for the courses. It gives you a lifetime access to all my jam and my wire classes on physics, mathematics, chemistry, and it likes. All right. Thank you very much and see you in our next class.